The 16th century Frenchman Bernard Palissy was a true Renaissance polymath whose myriad areas of expertise range from painting and glass making to geology and natural history. He was also a potter, uh, but today Palissy's legacy thrives through a series of curious rustic ceramic dishes. These glossy sculptural vessels and platters are glazed in vibrant jewel-like tones and crawling with various animal species. But the interesting thing or curious thing about this is that Polissi made these forms that he applied to his plates by taking casts of living, breathing creatures. Enchanting may be, but possibly quite eccentric. Like much of Palissy's work, this dioramic vision of pond life is more of a testament to nature than a utilitarian vessel meant to carry food. Captured subjects like frogs and lizards were kept alive and their bodies preserved intact and unblemished. Palissy caught snakes by hand with heavy rags, fish and aquatic creatures with nets, and frogs and lizards with knotted string. The collecting process was not only physically challenging, but also dangerous. Some of Polisic's subjects were quite venomous. Once it was time to cast a subject, it was customary to dip the creature in vinegar or urine, coat it in a greasy substance, then position it on a bed of plaster, arranged in a striking, lively pose. The final step would have been covering it, as in suffocating, the specimen with additional plaster. After the plaster was set and dried and the deceased animal's body removed, Polissi would press clay into these moulds to form the creature, carefully remove it and then attach the resulting figures to his vessels. The finished compositions are described as lead glazed earthenware. They were bisque fired, then painted with glazes which Polissi had invented. Translucent lead based substances infused with metallic oxides to give the colour. They were then glaze fired one, more, one final time. Polissi kept much of the specifics of his life casting process a secret. His ceramics became known as Polissi ware or rustic ware. While Polissi ware can be found in museums and private collections around the world today, few existing pieces bear the original artist's signature. The style of ceramics that Polissi initiated was produced by followers well into the 17th century, and his work has been copied extensively over the centuries by many a potter, including myself. I do remember casting a penny turtle, but it was a dead one. I sculpted the various pieces that were added to my plates, as in this seafood platter. However, I did cast real objects for some of my series on fruit and vegetables. Polissi's works are welcome manifestations of the 16th century Renaissance, deeply strange objects that equally champion the realms of art and science.